Okay, so this is the first time I'm shooting inside my indoor studio I just set up. Uh, this is a uh, like a lodge fire. Uh, these are a mixture of my casts and the Clovis work I've been doing lately. Uh, you've already seen these casts up here. I've got some new ones I'll go over. I've got some Clovis points I've been working on and some failures uh, that show a pretty consistent pattern and a specific type of failure and some non-Clovis points. So let's start by just looking at the, uh, the new casts. Now these two are Eastern Clovis. Now they're obviously different from the Western that I have. Let's see. This is from the Galt site in Texas, G-A-U-L-T. And you can see how different they are in the style of fluting. Thinner than the other ones that I have, proportionately thinner. Uh, wider flutes, longer flutes. I'm not sure how these were done. They could have been done with indirect percussion or with a uh, some sort of pressure like a, uh, ch a chest crutch I think they call them. Anyway very interesting. Lots of grinding. I don't think this one has been resharpened. Although I might be wrong about that. There looks like there could be some resharpening on this side. This one is, uh, the real one is made of quartz. Now what's interesting about this one is not only the the flutes and how neat they are, but they terminate at about the same spot on the front and the back. Uh, that tells me that either he, the maker was extremely skillful, extremely lucky, or there was a pressure put on the point here and here uh, during the fluting process, so the fluting the fluting would stop here on purpose. Now, I think that's what happened. I think either it was buried in the dirt or wrapped up to this point and then fluted. And uh, I'll talk about why I think they would terminate it on purpose in a minute. But that's definitely, to me, that looks like intentional uh, terminating on the flute on both sides. Lots of grinding. It uh, goes up to about halfway and then the rest is sharp. Very skillfully made. Another uh, Clovis, this one is from Virginia. Multiple flutes. base is kind of crude. Uh, the There's not much grinding in here. There is a lot of grinding on the outside. Uh, this, this edge also seems a bit dull compared to the other Clovis casts. So this may have been used as a knife or something and it became very dull. Looks like a random flaking pattern with uh, multiple flutes, a little bit of intrusive flaking. Mainly on the lower part. No attempt was made to remove the uh, step fracture there. Uh, this one is from Oregon, I believe. The original is made of obsidian. Not as thick as I would think with obsidian. But I've heard the uh, 
the obsidian clovis points were fairly thick. This is just normal to me. There's a lot of intrusive flaking on the flute on this one. The, the, I can't tell which one was done first. I think this wider one was done first since there's no bulb, but this one I can see the little bubble of percussion, so that one was done second. The flaking is well executed. I can't tell if it's punch or pressure. Probably a combination of both. The base is fairly thick. Even though, even though they tried to thin it down, it's still fairly thick. A lot of heavy grinding on the base and heavy grinding here on the concave part of the base. And this one here. I can't remember where this is from, but uh, I think it's uh, uh, near Wyoming or something. Anyway, this one is very similar in size to the other cast. And these are both from Northern Plains states. I believe this one for South, was from South Dakota. The uh, fluting, I would imagine it would be more carefully done than this. Uh, they both seem to be quickly made. Not much grinding inside the concavity. Very uh, nice. This one has a very nice edge on the tip and the sides. I don't know if you can see. And this seems to be the average size for Clovis. Not the larger examples like this. This doesn't seem to be normal. This seems to be unusual. Anyway, I've been making some Clovis points of this size. These are all raw chert from Texas. The best attempt I have is this one here. This is all indirect percussion with pressure touch up. The flute, it's multiple flutes there. But there's one main one and it's all indirect percussion. The flutes are indirect percussion. The stone uh, flaked very nicely. I was able to uh, drive some very wide flakes. It was unusual in that it, the flakes did not break up. They were, it, this particular piece of stone was very good. Um, these are not so not so good in my opinion. Uh, multiple fluting on the base. I couldn't get single flutes to uh, travel very far uh, without failure. So I just did a multiple flute on that. Like I said, uh, indirect percussion, random flaking, raw chert. I tried to get the edges like the artifacts. I don't know if you can see. I tried to get these edges sharp. Another attempt. Here's a here's a, a cast of a real one. So mine are a little bit larger. Multiple flute in here. A little bit of a defect. There was a step right in here I couldn't get past. So mine are a little bit larger than the originals. That's just a. Uh, uh, an inclusion in the stone. Raw chert, very high grade. Now, 
this is also a very high grade chart and I don't know if you can see very well but I was able to flute this side okay uh, but the first flute I attempted was a long narrow one it turned out to be long and narrow but it, tr it started to dive into the point here creating a, uh, a weakness but I went ahead and finished the other side but I didn't finish uh, going over the edge because that is that crack is pretty long here and it, and it will if I haft it up and then use it it will break right there easily and this is very high grade shirt I've had that problem of the flakes diving um, it doesn't always break it just sometimes leaves this defect uh, when it does break it seems to break after I attempt a narrow long flute the wide flutes don't do this and it doesn't matter if I do it from the tip or the base but these long narrow flutes tend to dive into the stone and cause a failure doesn't matter if it's long or short these actually fail at about the same spot regardless of the length of the point and it's when I attempted a, a narrow flute in all, all these cases so I think that's a good uh, reason why the originals were fluted with wide flutes because these narrow multiple flutes I think cause failures more often and you can see this it's a pattern with this I've been uh, having some difficulties with this particular type of breakage so I'm gonna go with uh, wider flakes in the future even though I like to mul do multiple flutes on on the basis because it's easier I'm gonna try to prepare platforms better uh, flatten out this surface more and not leave a ridge in the middle and then flute with a wide flake okay here's some points that are not Clovis they are from Texas it's a Folsom cast I've actually uh, seen Folsom's like this in person uh, from the uh, Shifting Sands site and they, they are this thin they do look just like this not all of them have uh, flutes all the way to the tip some of them are thinned from the side and not thinned from the base very thin and then this seems to be about the average size from the uh, from the shifting sand site this one is from Oklahoma and ice from Texas I bought this because I wanted to see for myself how thin these were and there it's they are very thin so it's surprising that these didn't break off during manufacture or resharpening which uh, I don't know I can't imagine what these would be used for other than something very uh, very delicate like uh, maybe for eating with <laughs> cutting meat that you're eating uh, and this is a Midland Point which is also found these two are found in West Texas the Folsom and the Midland Points so I was interested in those thin but not crazy thin it's either random or collateral flaking I think it's collateral you can see some of the original flake scar from the original flake not very thin at the base not sure why it's concave when they didn't really thin it very interesting point style okay I think that's it um, I still haven't tried to make a duplicate of this yet, but I will. 
This one does seem to have a narrow flute, and it looked like it could have break, broken the point with a, if it, there was more force to begin with. So I think that uh, narrow fluting is something I'm going to avoid in the future and try with the wider flutes. Okay, that's it.